sincere for him. Can you hear all right? This afternoon they were saying they couldn't hear. There is a saying of Sheikh Mohideen, Allah bless you. Don't say you're after Allah. Don't say you're trying to find God. Say instead, I'm trying to be away from everything I don't like or to make everything I don't like away from me. It's closer to the reality. The Sheikh, Allah bless him. Sheikh Nazim, Sheikh Hashem, Grand Sheikh, whole Aulia. Their job to make every, to facilitate, let's say that way, to facilitate or make easy for every Marid and Marida to reach to the return to Allah in the best perfect condition. When our souls were created, Rana said, in, on the day of promises, Allah gathered all of us together, all the generations, from Adam up to the last one, including ourselves, and said, Alastubi Rabbikum, am I not your Lord? And all of us said, Bala wa shadda. I, for sure, and he bear witness. And we promised everything we were going to do in this life to fulfill our mission as Allah's Khulafa deputies. And it was a beautiful view that day, Mulana said. We weren't yet created with, it was our pure souls, all the arwa of humanity. Bani, Bani Adam, Nisan. All the souls were arranged like a beautiful display, like we have here these colored lights, a beautiful, unimaginable, like a crown, heavenly crown, Yara, with every kind of beautiful, perfect jewels, whole humanity. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He presented that beautiful trust to prophets, Allah I said him. Prophet said, I have a, I was reading about time today. And Rumi said, there's a hadith. Prophet said, I have a walked a time with Allah that no other prophet and no angel has. Prophet had his time with Allah. And in that time, Allah presented him with insan, human beings, candidates to be deputies for Allah. So gorgeous and lovely, the most beautiful thing that was created. And Allah said to Prophet Sallallahu Oh, my beloved one, do you accept to bring this Amanat, this trust, back to me on the day of uh, <laughs> resurrection, to bring it back to me, pure and clean like this, as I created it. And Prophet was going to refuse such an offer. He never refused anything anyway. Yes, oh my. Then, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I told this before, but to remember it. Allah 
Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created ego, nafs. Nafs. And with that came everything nafs is going to do. If you look at the news anywhere, you see what nafs is doing around the world now. What's happening? What's happening in Europe? What's happening in China? What's happening in Sri Lanka? What's happening in South America? What's happening in here? What's happening in Canada? What's happening in Africa? Uh, worldwide. What people are doing. Now the view changed. Before it was a beautiful crown of lights, humanity. Now it's something you can, let's say you make a shorthand, you clean this and bring it back. Okay, clean it, how to clean? Well, I used to say, if you get a spot on your tie, like I have many spots on your shirt now, after one day it has to be covered. If you get a spot on your shirt, you can wash it. If you fall into the sewer completely, to the outdoor restroom, what you say, clean it. You have to change everything. It's Prophet's job now to bring that amana, that beautiful amana, the trust of humanity, back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to present all of us pure and clean on the judgment day, murderers and killers and crooks and every kind of stuff. From small sins to huge sins. Things that can be forgiven, things never can be forgiven. He has to bring it all back. Clean this. Prophet prayed. Though he doesn't need to do, but he wants to show something. He Prayed, oh my Lord, send for me helpers. I need helpers for this job. This is going to go on a long time. Generations. How many generations from Adam to the last one? Send me helpers to clean this mess. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created from the Nur Muhammadiyah, from the lights of the Prophet, so Allah is said, Anbiya, Prophets, and then Awliya. And their mission from the beginning to carry on the work of Prophet to clean the Ummah and bring it back clean, shining to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Though we keep making it messed up. If you could clean it one time, it's okay. You can't clean the house one day, the next day is messed up again. Wash the dishes in one hour and so on, what happened? I washed it, it was dirty again. The laundry comes again dirty, everything. Their job to clean and polish the ummah. And our sheikh, He's a member of that uh, honored group or honored fraternity or honored battalion or how you want to say, coming to help Prophet on behalf of Prophet to clean the Ummah and present it. He said to clean my worries every day and present them every night to Prophet. So, He said, take care, don't do anything to make your shake ashamed to present you to prophets. But as I say, it's, it's not easy. Where was I going to go? We have all of us, when we say, what are we? What are we? Some wise people have said, you're, you're not your body. You're not your mind or your senses. Some have gone farther and say, you're not your thoughts also. Where your thoughts came from? Science says your thoughts are from the chemicals in your brain. They can do something to hack your thoughts. Where thoughts came from? Are the ingredients in a soup? 
chemicals in our brain, you add this and this and this and this and this. Or is it something else, something immaterial? We're bundles of stuff, material and immaterial. Some of it easy to clean. Some of it more difficult to clean. I was looking the other day for a vacuum, very thin and powerful that will go under big furniture. Can't find the exact one. Everything needs a cleaning. We had one Marid in Chicago, Turkish person. His job to find new ways to clean nuclear waste. They have some big installations in Chicago. His job is to discover a way to dispose of it and clean it somehow. Difficult kinds of cleanings. But all of it has to be cleaned before the judgment day. Nothing can be left. Therefore, the Sheikh's job we say for our sheikh, he's our father, for instance. I've heard Marid saying that he's our father, our daddy. Yeah, he's our daddy. But he has to do what no daddy or father or mother will do for their children. He has another function. My friend Ahmed Winter used to joke. He's going to take you to the doctor or something. You don't like it. We're going to the movies. Get in the car. Was there popcorn? Yeah, there's going to be popcorn, candy, everything. Okay, and you start to drive. Hey, it's the way to the movies? No, there's no movie. What you said? Yeah, I said. Where's the popcorn? There's no popcorn. Candy? There's no candy. What you said? Yeah, I said. <laughs> like that, they, they have a tough side also. Because they have to go in and using the power that they have been given and the knowledge and the skills, like a surgeon, we don't have Dr. Siddiqui with us tonight, like a surgeon, they have to go and get every impurities out. And all of us have them. There are things we don't like to <clears throat> deal with. We have some things easy to deal with. We have some things harder, harder to deal with. And Sheikh has to sometimes uh, if there is a sore, sometimes have to poke it, poke that blister to get it to give its uh, fluids out, poison. They have to do like that. From time to time, we have to face what we don't like so that we can reach finally what we really like. We don't like to face it, but step by step, gradually, gradually, better to do it gradually than all at once. Like Fir'aun, he rejected Sayyidina Musa, he rejected belief, rejected, rejected. He was chasing him through the Red Sea with his army. And in the end, Allah made the sea to crash down on him. He said, oh, now I believe, oh, it's too late. Now you have to face the consequences all at once. Quran says, They wait to see Allah coming through the sky with trails of angels coming through the clouds. The day they see it, if they didn't believe it beforehand, it means if they didn't clean it beforehand, it's too late. We have to do it now. And it's very difficult for, 
we can't operate on ourselves. We can't psychoanalyze ourselves. Also. We have defense mechanisms, self-defense, areas we can't go to. The Sheikh's job, one of his job to go around those defenses to penetrate and bring out what needs to be cleaned. It's not easy. But we have to know that it's happening. At least to know we have to be patient. That's why Ibn Arabi was saying, half jokingly, don't say you're after Allah, say you're trying to be away from everything you don't like. All of it from Allah. All of everything that manifests or shows up or appears in this world from Allah. From his beautiful names and attributes. Some of it we like it, some of it we don't like it, but all of it from Allah. One of the principles of faith. The Shairahi part we put aside. I don't accept, but it's there. We have to be patient. One time, the brother of Muhammad Sheikh Hashem, Muhammad Sheikh Adnan, Allah bless him, Rahimullah, mercy on his soul, he came to. Cyprus to see Mulana Sheikh, and he was sick for the last several years of his life. He had so many difficult conditions in his back, in his legs, in his everywhere. And he came to Cyprus and was sitting with Mulana Sheikh, and Mulana Sheikh greeted him when he came in. They were filming, they had the camera on. He said, Salamun alaikum bima sabartum. Salamun alaikum bima sabartum. Peace be upon you. The angels will greet you in the next life. Salamun alaikum. What kind of salam is the salam of angels to come on us according to what you were patient with? Salamu alaikum tib tum fadhuluha khalidin. You did your job. You cleaned it. The highest blessing. People can reach it for this. The opposite of Yaqulu Yalaitani How I wasted my life. Salamun alaikum bima sabartum. Salamun alaikum tib tum makhuluha khalidi. Blessings to you. This is what we're trying to reach to it. We believe in a Akira and asking to reach to it in the best condition because dunya is not going to stay. Everything is going to be perfect in dunya, still, it generates problems. You can't escape it. Everyone has so many. From the time it rings to wake you up in the morning with something. Oh, so and so. Yes, you have a problem. What? There it is. This problem you brought yesterday, we fixed it. No, I'm somebody else. I didn't hear about that. Every day. To so be patient. Do what you can to work on yourselves. I have to work on myself. But some of it we can't. Some things the doctor or the surgeon has to do. We can't do it. We can't do it. Allah sent doctors for our souls to help us to perfect it. Even Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, although he didn't need to be clean, on his Isra and Mirage, the night of night journey, what was the second thing that happened? First thing, he was woken from his bed in Mecca Mukarama and taken out and they brought for him a bowl, silver bowl or bowl with ice and angels took his heart and cleaned it. There's a spot in the heart when they do Korban, you find a very black spot. Humans have it also, there's a very dark spot of blood in the heart and they clean that out. Humans have that. Shaitan plays there. Prophet didn't have Shaitan, but to show us, if he needs an operation, we need one. 
It's the meaning of Hastari Thvila Alamna Shrah Laka Sadrak wa Adana Anka Uzrak. Adati Anka Sadrak wa Afana Laka Zikrak. Alamna Shrah Laka Sadrak. Hastari Thvila. Did we not operate on you? We opened your chest. Alamna Shrah Laka Sadrak. Nasra and Basit, not the same, I don't think. Basit, expansive. We didn't grant you an expansive heart, we opened you. So it needs. So when the Sheikh is operating on us, we have to be patient. We have to be patient. When a doctor operates, they put an anesthetic to knock us out so we don't know. They may use some kind of heavenly anesthetic so we don't know what happened. But sometimes we have to be patient. Be patient. Be patient, be patient. Nothing else. Iman, faith, is equal to patience. Nothing is not to the number of prayers you did, not to the number of zikr you did, not to the amount of charity you gave. For faith is equal to your patience. Nothing else. Friend Sheikh said, Allah bless you. Sheikh Abu Dagestan. This is the time of Hilm, the age of Hilm that we're living in now. Forbearance. Be able to take it. What happens when you, we reach our limit? They asked him. Because we need to always have to give the shaykh a trial also. Use your helm, your forbearance. What if we can't take anymore? We used to say that kind of stuff to Sheikh Nazim always at the beginning. He'd say some beautiful thing. We go, ah, yeah, but what about? The... We didn't know the other. And he was patient with us. You can find the early recordings, you wouldn't believe it. We made him like the guy with the shoes in the back. Wow, well, what do you mean? How can you say that? And he carried us with his love. What happens when you can't be patient anymore? You, you run out of hill, like a Tesla runs out of charge. No charging between three and eight. No overload the grid. My helm is down. Don't tell me the grid is down. He said, go more. Go more. <clears throat> they invited him one time for dinner in Lebanon. Check out now. I don't know if it's the anniversary. I remember him tonight. He was late. He didn't show up. The people wanted to were hungry. They called him. They say, "Salam alaikum." He said, "Wait for me. I'm coming." Okay. But we're hungry. He said, "Then eat." Well, we want to eat with you. Then wait. <laughs> Like that. Sometimes no need for a big book of Sufi doctrine. <laughs> Be patient. May Allah grant us patience. Ah, sometimes there are some doctors, you went, I think, to allergy doctors. You went to an allergy doctor ever? You come in, I'm my nose is stuffy, I'm itching, something you have something, symptoms. They say, oh, we have to see what you're allergic to. It might be, oh, we have to see. What do we have to see? And he has a thing you know, five hundred needles or something. This is cockroach. For 
this is rat poison, this is dandelion pollen, this is ragweed, this is this, this is that, cat dander. Yeah. And they mark where they put on the arm or wherever they put it. And then they wait to see the reaction. See if it swells up, becomes red, becomes, isn't it? They provoke a reaction to see what needs treatment. One person was serving the people in Cyprus very nicely while I'm sitting at the table with his guests. And they, the guests went to praise the one who was serving. They said, oh, he's so good, so well-mannered, so... The Malala Sheikh said, yeah, but you should see what happens if I step on his tail. They say, he has a tail? Oh, a big tail. Should I step on it? We have. So try to remember Allah is seeing and Prophet is seeing and Sheikh is seeing. And if we can take it to the level of my Sheikh brought this to me, we can try to pass through the difficulty. If you can say, Alhamdulillah, at the time of difficulty, Allah can turn difficulties into blessings. But you couldn't. The one that was your enemy might become your best friend. If you're patient. This is only a hazm, a good luck, a good result, a good fortune, only given to the patient one. I think you can understand what I recovered it, inshallah. Amin ala tawfiq. Bihamat al-Habib, bihamat al-Fatiha. Amin. What we do now, pray, uh, zikr. Zikr Allah. Take this one.